Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And today we're taking a look at some different attacks, uh, attacks I typically don't show as much, but I'm in One Hive Origins to show some lower level hero attacks on more common bases uh, with more common clan castle troops, not the typical lava hounds and stuff like that we see in some of the war clans, but some actual, you know, dragon loon. And we're even going to take a look at some 9v10 against some of those low, annoying town hall 10s that are rushed, but they have the infernos. So how are we going to deal with them? All that's going to be in this video. Um, but basically, uh, this first one, 1717 heroes, I know some of you guys might complain in the comments saying these aren't actually low level heroes, they're just medium to mid level. Um, and that's true, but this is some of the lower level heroes that I can find in the One Hive family. So it's the best we got. But anyway, what I talk about when you have low level heroes is this. You either got to bring more DPS or just bring a smaller kill squad because just bringing three golems and your heroes or two golems and your heroes not going to work anymore. You got to throw in extra wizards because they have to compensate for the damage your heroes can't do. So I always encourage people just to bring extra wizards when they're a low town hall nine. Um, that can basically make the kill squad do you know it won't be as effective because the queen and the king deal damage in a more effective way but it can in some ways compensate for the amount of damage that's not being done by the king uh, or the queen because they're too low level so um, you have two options like i said either just bring like one golem and your heroes a very small kill squad we'll see an attack like that and just focus on the troops that you do have maxed out assuming you have max troops just focus on that bring a lot of hogs or a lot of balloons or whatever it is and uh, just go lighter on your kill squad or alternatively, um, as I was saying, you can just add more DPS to your kill squad because you don't want to waste those golems if there's nothing behind them doing a whole lot of damage. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a solid amount of DPS um, that basically is it correlates, it's proportional to the amount of tanking that you have. So you got to be careful if you have like 10, 10 heroes. If you're bringing like two golems, you're going to want to throw in some wizards behind there to get your money's worth on those golems. Okay, uh, moving on to a few more attacks from this war. Uh, number five, this is Helios. And um, this one was a, looks like a two golem attack. Now, a lot of these attacks are using bowlers. You'll notice that hogs are going to be your go-to, especially on these uh, bases that are quote-unquote like internet common bases, just like not the anti three star bases I often show. Against these types of bases, hogs are a great go to. Laloon can work as well. Just whatever you're more comfortable with, really. Um, bo both of those are probably your best strategies, those defensive targeting ones. But like I said, you'll notice there's a lot of bowlers in the CC. If you don't have access to those max level three bowlers, which are so effective at Town Hall 9, I'd recommend um, just going lighter on the kill squad. It's even if you bring, let's say, two to three golems, your heroes, and you mix in the wizards, without the bowlers, the kill squad really might not be worth it. Because um, wizards can often die, they're just they're kind of flimsy, and uh, you're relying too much on your heroes, which are likely going to be too low level to really get the money's worth for the golem. So maybe just go with one golem, or even suicide heroes if the uh, defensive queen and or king are available just to come in there with the suicide heroes and just go lighter on the kill squad if you don't have access to the max bowlers uh, you can bring valks pekka you can go for other forms of dps but bowlers are by far the best choice for a kill squad um, at at town hall nine so if you don't have access to them you got to really consider bringing a smaller kill squad but if you do, the uh, the big kill squad can still work. But even if you have access to those bowlers, throw in a few wizards just to make up for that damage you don't have because you don't have those level 30 heroes. So that's my advice. Um, anyway, nice attack here to Helios. I think he's been on the channel before. The name sounds familiar, even though I'm not in One Hive Origins very often. I'm on my second account right now, my Town Hall 9. Extremely rushed. Don't even want to show it. It's pretty embarrassing. Um, it's like a Town Hall 8 that just... Well, I shouldn't say just. It's been a Town Hall 9 for like a year, probably. I just never play on it. I just use it to record videos. Um, but I did farm it up to Town Hall 9. I didn't like buy it or anything. I don't I don't think I've... I never bought an account. I always farm them up. Well, I've only had two accounts. But yeah, uh, farmed up to Town Hall 8 and then upgraded to Town Hall 9, then lost interest in it and just use it to record. Okay, this next one here, um, probably the lowest, lowest level heroes we'll see in this video. 
Uh, notice that all those wizards he's throwing in, I really like that. And those wizards are going to just stand behind the king, stand behind the golems, and they do quite a bit of damage. So um, you won't get caught up on storages, on like expos, town hall, even defensive heroes. You won't get caught up in all that stuff, which are pretty high in HP, because you have a few extra wizards shooting behind you. Um, the bowlers actually, without the rage on them, they're not huge damage dealers. It's all about the rage and the double bounce. That's where the DPS is. Also the splash damage, they can go right between two buildings that are adjacent. They can get that splash damage sometimes onto both the buildings. So, uh, But the, anyway, my point is the bowlers aren't that high in DPS, so just be aware of that. That's the reason you're bringing the wizards, even if you have access to the bowlers. So we'll take a look at an attack that doesn't use this strategy. I know a lot of these attacks have been similar, but this is just what's working. It's what people are using in One Hive Origins because it's working. No need to reinvent the wheel. Um, if it works, don't change it. There's a bunch of sayings. Uh, in that regard. So anyway, the queen actually misses the ability there, so kind of jeopardizes the attack a little bit, but these hogs, because they're maxed out, you got to max out your troops first, not your heroes. I've talked about that in the past. It's much more e uh, easy to just max out the hogs. It's one upgrade um, after Town Hall 8 than trying to upgrade your queen to level like 15 right away. Um, just, you know, accept the low-level queen and uh, get those troops maxed out because that way you can focus on bringing the max troops which even with less effective heroes can still crush a base especially lower level bases which you should be attacking if you're a low le lower level town hall 9 if you're attacking maxed bases um, it's not ideal, but, you know, it's still doable. Town Hall 9 is not that difficult. Uh, you can have level 10 heroes and still 3-star a base um, if you have most of your troops maxed out. Okay, um, that is all from that war. Let us go back to... Oh, it looks like I have a friend request here um, from someone in One Hive Origins. Okay, uh, <laughs> that's cool. You guys can add me as a friend if you want. Here's my profile. Uh, Bisected Tron Jr. I think people have added me too much to the point where I'm on my main account where I can't have any more friends. So if you try to request on my main account, I might not be able to accept because I've maxed out the friend limit, but uh, you can request to have me a, a friend on my mini account if you care at all, which you probably don't. You just want to see the next attacks. Okay, let's get to that. Um, Two more, um, I think both are by CC Master. Top two bases, this wasn't a, a great war, this clan um, had a lot of rushed bases like this, but this is what we see sometimes, these Town Hall 10s that just, they have to rush to Town Hall 10, they have to put those Infernos down. Annoying stuff, now sometimes they might be on single, which is a different story. You gotta be careful when they're on single because they can pop your Lava Hounds really fast if the air defenses are in range, but uh, my advice is this, if it's if you're a town hall nine, especially with not maxed heroes, having to sh attack up at a rushed town hall ten that has inferno towers, if the infernos are on multi, you want to look to use La Loon if you can. You can still use hogs, but I think La Loon might be better if you have infernos. Uh, the balloons might be more reliable. If they're on single don't use La Loon typically just because those Lava Hounds are going to get crushed and you know we see successful attacks that use uh, Lava Hounds against single Infernos all the time at Town Hall 10 but that's a whole different beast um, don't take that risk if you're going for a three-star attack because these attacks are very very doable shouldn't be that difficult to three-star a base like this uh, with level 23 20 heroes uh, this one was a very nice queen charge it shows you know even at uh, level 23 which is definitely getting towards the higher queen levels and the grand scheme of thing, thing, things. But it's a big queen charge, you know, it's not a uh, just like a small walk or anything. So uh, 20 queen and above, you can do these kinds of charges and great value gets the Inferno, which really doesn't even matter that much. The Inferno is kind of just an HP building that's a defense, which will take your balloons a little while to take out. Um, it doesn't do much damage and you can heal through it if you need to. So. That's not the biggest concern, really. The multi-infernos are actually a blessing if you get those um, in this situation. The single infernos, which unfortunately we don't have any replays for, are what you have to be careful of. Just make sure to keep your heroes, um, keep your lava hounds, which is why I say don't use La, La Luna attacks. You want to keep your tanks away from the single infernos. So if this base was single infernos, you'd want to use a kill squad just in some area, take out the queen, take out the CC, get some defensive value, then just use hogs on the rest. You know, you can have, probably want to bring three heal spells if you can, maybe, you know, 
try to double wall break, save a jump, or just don't use a rage. You can use some Valks. Valks are a great uh, troop for the, these types of bases because they're just very hard for the lower level defenses to take down. They can be, they're very tanky um, if you have maxed out Valks. So keep that in mind. Uh, but I hope this little attack here helps. Just give some perspective um, for these uh, 9v10 hits. Not that hard to do. Multi Infernos, you can almost ignore them. Just treat them as a high HP building that your defensive targeting troops have to go through. Nothing more than that. The DPS is almost negligible, especially because you can heal through them now. Um, which would apply to hogs mainly and also uh, loons if you want to heal your loons at some point So if they are on single like I said a slightly different story Just keep your tanks away smaller kill squad probably go heavy on the loons slash hogs And you should be fine as well queen charge probably won't be the best idea if they're single infernos either So that's how you take out those low rushed town hall tens and also I hope you guys enjoyed those town hall nine attacks um Probably some of you guys see these types of attacks way more than you do, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the attacks that I typically show. So I want to continue to do this series, drop into One Hive Origins every once in a while, and just show these types of attacks. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.